Hello and welcome. I'm Hannes Grossmann. Welcome to today's online lesson. I'm really stoked to be here at the Drum Technic Academy. Thanks for thanks to Martin for having me here and giving me the opportunity to speak about my concepts and answer your question. In this online course, um, I will talk about m three main topics. The first one is hand techniques. The second one is foot technique, and the third topic is um, general drum concepts. Uh, you know, bringing all the aspects together. All right, let's get into that. The first question comes from Nicholas. Hi, Hannes. I know there is a video about your hybrid hand technique. Do you still use it and can you show it in this context of the Drum Technic Academy? Thanks a lot. Thank you, Nicholas, for this question. Um, yes, of course, I'm using it all the time. It's, um, well, I would call it my signature technique. Well, I have to say, um, why do I use it? Um, therefore, um, also in for the sake of, of this whole online lesson, maybe we should I should define what I mean when I talk about technique and what technique actually is in my perspective. Technique I define as a motion you do on your instrument to create a certain non-random sound. This is very neutral. Um, definition of the term. It doesn't have to do something with playing fast, playing complicated, just creating sound on your instrument. And it's important, a specific sound. Now, the hybrid hand technique um, is an exact mix between um, yeah, a finger control technique and you will a normal, well, let's say, American grip tech playing technique that comes from the wrist. And I use um, both uh, to combine, uh, use both um, concepts combined to get the most out of both worlds, if you will. Um, now it starts from the um, finger control technique. The finger control technique, well, is like this. Thumb points to you, you hold the stick between thumb and index finger and the other fingers, they push up. Um, the problem with this technique, though it's uh, you know very efficient and you can play um, fast for a very you know long time without having um, to use a lot of energy once you practice the technique. Um, the downside is that you can't really make accents like you know if I want to accent a certain stroke, I have to turn my hand and use it switch into a different technique and switching techniques in li let's say a blast beat that's not a very smart idea uh, <laughs> because um, you might get out of balance and thus you know um, have timing issues and all of that um, so I created a technique where I can still use the finger control technique and um, use the wrist and have accents um, and what I did is I practiced of course the finger control technique uh, in you know a very extensive manner um, I practice uh, this finger this finger this finger individually just using middle finger ring finger and the pinky hope you can see that on the camera um, and then putting the strength of all three fingers together um, now for the hybrid technique, I slightly turn my hand this way and I still do the finger technique, but it it alters during the stroke. S still, I'm holding between thumb and index finger and it's a slightly, you know, I'm exaggerating this, it's a turning motion. It would be like this. You turn your hand in a circle. It's it's when you change a tire on your car. You you're not going with a you know straight uh, thing to get in, in now the the screws off. No, of course it's bended. That's where you can use the leverage. And um, this is the idea to get leverage. I could also use this uh, you know call this technique um, leverage technique. But uh, since it's a hybrid, I call it hybrid technique. Well, fair enough. And this is the stroke. And as you can directly see um, I can make accents and also stick is coming up a long way and I can really use the bounce so <laughs> I hope you can see this probably 
and also on the drum set it's it's um very useful because you can now make these accents something like that okay let's move on to the next question lightning asks hi hannes i'd love to get some further information about your hybrid hand technique in detail how is the feeling during the motion from which part comes the most power from wrist fingers and what does the pointer finger and the thumb exactly do okay yeah in detail it's the feeling is like uh, pushing down a basketball that's really the feel of the technique. Push it down and you're using the rebound and find the exact spot, like the exact point where you have an optimal um, bounce. So it's not entirely based on rebound. You don't need the rebound to make it work. I could play this on a pillow and get the same thing out of it, but it would be harder. And so you use the rebound and it's... Um, um, what the pointer finger and the thumb really do, they hold the stick. Really, it's just that is the grip. And the other fingers are loosely around the stick. And um, so the only tight grip, in a way, is between thumb and index finger. And the rest of the hand is pretty loose, so you can really execute the stroke and get the bounce. Also, when I play faster, you can see that my motion becomes more efficient and smaller. But this is really loose, this part, and this is not stiff, but you grip it tight. And the power comes from the motion itself. It's not so much um, the part of the hand. It's, it's like one motion. And what really the key is to practice finger control technique before that. So it's the same grip as finger control. You hold it like this, index um, and thumb, thumb points up and then you push down. And the only thing you do is change that stroke to a turning motion. And the stick comes off this way because I hold it loose. If I would grip it tight then it would be like a sideway motion and I don't want this. So my hand is like turning like this, like like a basketball. That's really what it is. I hope this answered your question. All right, next one. Dimitri asks, I've seen a very short segment of your very fast footwork on the flying pizza conundrum and I am amazed of your performance on For Whom We Have Lost and the rest of the album. How did you pull off those long sections on for whom we have lost? Would love to hear a few words about your take on foot technique and the up tempos. Thank you, good sir. Thank you very much for that question. Um, well, what I said right now about the orbital elements um, thing, like creating an illusion of speed, that's not the case for these parts. Um, well, For Whom We Have Lost is a song by Hate Eternal on the last Hate Eternal record, what, which I'm very proud to be uh, featured on. Um, it was very hard to do, um, the whole record, because it's so exhausting, as you can imagine. And I'm not exactly the optimal high-speed player, but I, um, well, I created a technique for myself that worked in that moment. Um, okay. Um, how can I describe this? Um, for whom we have lost is um, on 190 BPM, but it's 60 note triplets. That equals 285. And it's one take. I did not have a single edit here, and it's just the way we record it. It took me like six attempts to do it, but <laughs> I, I managed to do it, and it's it's a long section. Well, what do you do? Practice. Um, <laughs> well, um, you know, usually my drum, maybe this is a good um, example to talk about my general kick drum technique. Um, my technique is pretty... <laughs> 